This is my favorite part of the day where, of course, I get to come in here and hang out with you guys and have a fun craft session. But also, I get to come in here and play with my meditation scrolls. I am Tammy. Welcome to Snowstorm Crafts, and let's get started. So today, what I want to do with you guys is I asked you on the video the other day where I showed you how to make the fabric twine. And if you guys aren't caught up with us on that, I will post that on the end screen. I'll put it on the end screen so you guys can click on it and come check it out. So I show you in detail how to make the twine fabric. And today, well, what I asked you guys was, uh, did you want to see how I added the beads and all the fun little trinkets and little doodads on here? And thank you guys for commenting. And I really, really appreciate it. So today I want to show you guys how I add all that to my fabric twine. Okay. So let's see. So I got some examples here. So like this one, you can see. So I just got my big bead here with a little fun little fairy trinket on it. And then this one with a fun little just twisty little doodad. I don't know why doodad's my name, my word for the day, but that apparently seems to be what it is. And, uh, these just little buttons or I mean beads and stuff on it. So, um, these are my meditation scrolls. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will put it on the end screen and you can come check it out. This is super fun to make. They're really just, you get into like a meditative, just kind of just relaxing, you know, you get to relax and, just kind of just slow stitch and it's really fun, fun. I love doing it. So come check that out and you'll get caught up to us on this. And yeah, this is the one I wanted to work on today with you guys, but let me show you something here. This is super fun. Oh my goodness. I've had so much fun making her. She is my little, um, what did I name her? Corky. Oh my goodness, I wrote it down. Let me go grab so it. So as you can see, I did write it down. It is my Corky Fabric Snippet Doll. It is super cute. Wrote it on my little sticky note here. And oh my goodness, she is adorable. But what I start off is the base uh, of my meditation, meditative uh, snippet scrolls here, little scroll rolls. So uh, come check out how to do that. And then I want to know in the comments below if you guys would like to see how I make her. Uh, is this not <laughs> the cutest thing ever? I couldn't stop playing with her. Like, it was funny. I had her, like, dancing, going like this. Like, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was playing with her, and oh, my gosh. I mean, my husband were laughing so hard. But is it not hilarious? I mean, look at her. Look at her. Like, she's got little arms. Little arms, little legs. I got a little skirt on her. And she's got the funniest hair. Is that fun? So I'd love to hear in the comments below, please. Let me know if you guys want to see my fun little uh, quirky fabric snippet doll. Yes, so let me know. And she's got a fun belt. So this is part of what I wanted to show you guys too. How to construct her little belt. Let's see, is that cute? But this is what they are. It just unrolls. And it's just a fun little snippet roll here. A little scroll, snippet, however you want to say it. But, oh my gosh, I can't stop playing with her. So we'll put her over here. She can watch us. Okay. So this is her little belt that goes around. And I had it like this. So I was going to show you guys how to do this. I'm going to show you the beads. And I do have Amazon links to the beads and the trinkets and all this fun little stuff we're going to put on here. So anything I'm showing you guys today will be down in the links below. Okay? So that's kind of the idea I wanted to show you guys. I mean, isn't she adorable? And then we can just tie it back here. I just can't get enough of her. It's so fun. Okay, so now let's put her here. What I have is a skewer. Those come in really handy when we're doing this kind of work. So you can push it through. 
I got some scissors in case I need them. I have some Fabrifix glue because we'll have to glue the little, uh, oh no, that's for that. I don't know if I need glue for this one, but yeah, you can do some glue. You might need some glue in and out, but maybe not, maybe not for this, but it's always nice to have a little bit of glue handy. Okay. And then what I have here is, let's start with this one. These are seven millimeters. So I had somebody ask me what the sizes and stuff I'm going to use. So these are seven millimeter holes is what it is. So, and it's a whole set of 60. You get a set of 60 of them and they're really cool. They're just imitation uh, wood. So they're plastic. They're not actually, but they look like real wood. They're kind of fun. So you get different decorations on them and they're really fun to play with. So I got those. And then there's a whole kit of 400, I know, which is crazy, but it's like a whole kit and it's pretty cheap. I think it's under 15 bucks and you get like all this. I know I have it in a little baggie because they're, these you have to open the side and then they fall out. So you get those fun little twisty things here. here. You get some of these, it's just easier to show you here. So you get those. You get silver and uh, gold, and then you get silver and gold of these little clamps, which open up like this, they open up. Those are really fun to put on things. Uh, you get some silver and some gold, different kinds of uh, trinkets. I have those here. So you just get some fun little trinkets throughout. You get gold. And then there's silver ones like that. So they come in a, so they're really fun to play with. Okay. So you get that, that, I mean, this is that whole kit. And then plus you get these huge beads, which I'm guessing these beads, cause they didn't put the size of the beads for the whole. So since these are seven, th these had the size. So these are seven millimeters. So I'm guessing nine, cause look at how big that hole is compared to that one. So that's my guess. I mean, don't quote me on it, but I'm guessing nine, because that's a seven, and then, I don't know, maybe a 10 millimeter. Because those these are nice and big. I like these. I like these for that. Like, look at that. That's so much fun. You could put them on like the big fabric and stuff like that. So that's one main reason I wanted to get this kit. Uh, plus you get, here, you get these, this size, which I'm guessing is a three. I think this one's a three millimeter. These, they didn't have the sizes on it, but I'm guessing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, and then you get this size, which is a little bit bigger. And I think this is seven. So that's a bag of these. And then these, they almost look the same. So I would guess seven. And I know this is a seven, so I'm guessing. So you get these, and then you get a bunch of these which I think are three millimeter too, because they're about the same as these. So yeah. But anyway, you get a whole bunch of stuff. So you get all this stuff to play with, which I think is worth it for what the price is. So I always try to get you guys like the best deals, you know, because I don't like to spend that much on crafting supplies either. So why not, you know, get some fun things for a low price and we could do some fun little things here. Okay, so that's what I got. And like I said, I'll put that down below for you. And yes, let's do this. So what I did is I twisted up some fabric and I got it ready. Um, where did I put it? Oh yeah, that's right, it's on this one. Okay, so these are the examples. So you could just take it and you could do the small ones on here like that. You could do beads throughout which is, I'll show you the concept of when I put them on the end here, it'll be the same, but you just push them down further and then you keep twisting around it. So I'll show you that. Okay. And then you can have some fun, like a little seashell hang off and then some beads. And then this one clamps in the middle. These are the ones that open up and then you can clamp it like that. Oh, and the thing is that if these are dreadlock beads, so I was like, oh man, how am I gonna get some big thick beads? And they're dreadlock beads. So I was always like, I can never find beads, you know, big enough and stuff. So uh, 
I just on Amazon typed in dreadlock beads because they have the bigger holes and stuff and I got all this fun stuff. I mean, that's what the danglers are and the big beads and um, all the fun little things that you can add like that. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how I added my beads. Okay, so here I could show you, let's go ahead and I'll show you how I put them on here and incorporated them in. Okay, so what I like to use as I'm, like, when, yeah, I don't want this to unravel. I just take my little clip here and just clip it. Okay, and then I take one of these beads. skewer and you just take it and pretty much just get it through like you can go like this and just pop it through like that okay so I'm doing it like this and then I show you in my more detailed uh, video on how to ravel it back together but you're pretty much just gonna take it and just continue with the raveling or I mean with putting it together and twisting it. So you just go like that and then you just incorporate it into your twine, just like that. Oh, I got it all twisted on and then you just twist it as much as you want. Get it to a point here. Okay. And then like with this one, I went ahead and tied a knot at the end, like this. Okay, so you just tie a knot. Then you get your beads that you want. So we can do these. And the skewer just comes in really handy just to be able to uh, push everything through just like that. And these are just a cheap, just wooden um, like skewer. You could put like do shish kebabs and stuff on. <laughs> so just pop it through. I'm just hoping, I don't know if I have enough on this side. So that's how you would do that one. But I think I need to go smaller because I didn't make this long enough. So I'm just showing you different ways to put these on too, but you just kind of just put your fabric behind it, bunch it up, and then just push it through like that. Just like that. Yeah, then we'll have more room that I can tie a knot here. So you just kind of bunch it like that. And then I just push it through. So there we go. So you could just do that at the ends. And then just take it and just tie a knot. I know I should have left more at the end, but if you can't tie it like that, you can tie it like this too. Just like that. That will work too. So however you can do it. This is just so fun to do. So there we go. So you got those. And then you can just have as many as you want, just like this one. I did it all throughout, just like that. And then you got the two big beads, same concept on the end. Okay, so we do that one. And then we can add a fun little dangler. Well, here, I'll show you. You can do this one. And all you do is just open it up, pop that on here, and just pinch it back. And you got some funny little, or funny, fun little bling. Not too funny. Okay. Now, these come with rings, and also it comes with a bag of rings. So you get all those, too. So it's pretty cool. 
and they're really easy. You don't really need your uh, needle nose or anything. You just kind of pop it open like that, just a little bit, just to give it a little opening. And then just put it wherever you want. I just go right in between the twists here, go right in between the twist, and then just pinch it back just like that. And there you go. You get a fun little dangler. A little trinket here. So there we go. I mean, that's pretty much everything. And then this would be just, you just slide it through. Um, I don't care. I think I do it on this one. This has a, a long end on it. But you can see how the skewer just comes in handy. A chopstick would work like on the big one right here and stuff. But with the smaller holes, this just has a nice small, you know, tip on it. So this, you could just go like this, and then you can weave this in and out too if you want. Like do, you do a weave, just continue like that. And then you have a fun, just little, just adds to it right there. So you could do it like that, which works really good. And then just tie it off in the end. So it's just whatever you guys want to add to your fabric twine here. And this stuff is great to use for uh, junk journaling, junk journal or junk journaling closures is what I'm trying to say. And like I showed you guys how to do this fun little pouch. Oh, I'll make sure to put it on the end screen. You guys come check it out. Uh, and that's what this is. It just has, I just did a little key on the end of it and a couple of beads. And I did the fabric twine and you just take it and twist it. And then you can also add some of your beads to the ends here. So beads are just great. I love playing with beads. And then I did some patchwork on the back here. So this is just a fun little tutorial. If you guys want to come check out how to make a little pouch, but you can see you just twist it and go like that. And then there you go. So we got that and you know, you got your little danglers and the big bead. You could just do one just like that in there. And you know, that one I just kind of just weave through a little bit. I just made sure to get some of the fabric to kind of weave through it just so it's stuck there. I mean, you just kind of play around and you start seeing what you can do and how you can incorporate them and add everything together here. But this one just goes around like this. So if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. That helps my video go to get out there further so other people can see how to add, you know, beads and little trinkets to their fabric twine. And yeah, so I'm just having a great time making these little meditative little snippet rolls here or scrolls or what, whatever you will. They can be all kinds of things. I mean, you can make them whatever you want. And then adding our fun little fabric here to it. Oh, fabric twine. So you just take it, pop it around. And it just gives it so much character. I mean, it's so fun. See the little guy? I think it turned out great. So make sure to comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see how I make my little, uh, what am I calling her? Corky fabric snippet doll. I mean, she's so much fun. She is so much fun. So please comment down below. It's really fun, really fun to make. And they're great. I mean, you can just have this sit up on your shelf. And um, I got my journals right up here on my little shelf and she can sit up and just protect them and just guard my little, my little shelf up there. So yeah, let me know down below, please. And here we go. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here and if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when i post it like comment and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting <laughs>